Hello everyone, Crash Bandit Spark 12 here, aka Dingo Crash, and today we're going to Dry Canyon. And of course, this is the first level in the Peacekeepers homeworld, and this level is going to be quite long compared to the first levels of the first homeworld. Actually, compared to uh, Stone Hill. Yeah, compared to Stone Hill, this is like a massive ass level. Wait, ugh. We've got everything in there yet. Yeah. Um, this level is, uh, as you know, desert, and it also fits the home world, as you can see with all this desert whole thing. And we've got the, the egg. Yeah, there is an egg thief over here that you, need, you had to chase, and we chased him, and we pretty much have to kill all these enemies with the shield that you can't really flame them, since, you know, they have that shield, and you can only... Um, pretty, pretty much, uh, you know, run into them. So we're rescuing Conan. Thank you for releasing me. All right. I thought that those dragons were supposed to give you hints, but uh, <laughs> I guess some of them just want you <laughs> to just rescue them out of these statues, and that's it. And um, this level also has a lot of um, ten. Uh, dra uh, gems of 10, you know, gems that count as 10, and uh, pretty much you have to go through a lot of ways just to go to the end of this level. Thought I missed a gem, and of course, there's Bustard. And there was an enemy in here, there was this massive ass enemy, but he's like, he randomly died, and we also got alive over here. And uh, pretty much, um, I think there's like 400 gems in total, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember correctly. We can just click that. Yeah, I was right. And we have four dragons in this world. Usually they keep it only up to four dragons in each world for some reason. But uh, yeah, pretty much it really doesn't matter. Um, Alright, let's rescue this dragon over here, which is Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this um, this level also, as I said, it requires a lot of gliding, and as you can see, we're just jumping over here to this side and uh, pretty much collect everything from this circle that we're going to be going through. As you can see, we're back at the exact same area, just on this sort of a hill, and we've got a key to open a chest that we need to open later on. So we're rescuing Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro! I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Okay. That was short. And didn't it sound like Hunter? For some reason, it sounds like Hunter. Even the skin of the bloody dragon looks like Hunter for some reason. Did you people notice that? <laughs> this is actually quite weird. I've just noticed that right now, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we have to go all the way through to this side, and of course, we're gonna. There is uh, a lot of circles and glides and st stuff like that. A lot of chests that you have to pretty much explode over here. Of course, there are those like three guards that pretty much can do can't do damage at all. And of course, we got him, guys. It's a Spyro Jam '86 reference. Probably most of you n know this or realize that or know the catchphrase. Um, Right, so, oh my god, uh, this is like the most annoying, Oh, This is like the most annoying enemy to kill since he's like on the, almost at the end of this hill. And if you will do a wrong step, you'll pretty much die. So pretty much you need to be very careful around this area when you're killing enemies. Alright, let's rescue Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke. We've known, uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Lovely. <laughs> I 
the the thing is how they can remember things about Sparrow if in if they were frozen, like how does that make sense? But anyways, we're actually almost at the end of the level, and uh, of course a lot of platforms over here, and uh, we're just gonna glide right now. Of course, after taking these gems, we're gonna glide over here. Take that life with us. Thank you. We've got 11 lives. And uh, pretty much we'll have to go all over back there. Just to get up to this side. Of course, another gliding. And uh, yeah, pretty much those are the things, thing, first things that you will see in this level, in this world. Those things that you need to flame. And when, when it explodes, it... Um, gems comes out of it exactly like how the chest is working so that's pretty much the, the you know the same system as the chest but it's just that this one explodes other than the the other thing all right so now we're gliding over there it seems like you're you feel like you're going to fail and you're gonna die and fall in fall down into that hole but pretty much um, <laughs> you, you you don't have to worry about anything. You just need to jump from the end of the thing. All right, so we've got everything. So we pretty much can leave this level because we've got everything 100%. All the gems, all the dragons, one egg, and we're pretty much ready, set, go to the ne to the ne to the next level, which is. Let's see. In the next part, we're going to Cliff Town. So I will see you in the next part everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part, goodbye.